Welcome back. What we're going to go over in this video is really the last step to creating a beautiful albumin, and that's having a great negative. Now, there's lots of ways to generate a negative, but we're going to be focusing on making digital negatives. Obviously, having access to a 4x5 or an 8x10, or also you know, making wet plate collodions is a great way to, to, to kind of expose and then print your albumins. But most of us don't have access to all of the equipment, and, and we do have access to digital cameras and Photoshop and, and printers. So we're going to focus on the digital negative. The other great thing about digital negatives is that they're scalable. So you can print the same image at 4x5, 8x10, and even 16x20, and there's no interpretation. The, the, once we create a good um, curve that's used for adjustments, we can print the same image at any size. There's no more testing required to be done. So the basic process is going to be first determining what is the maximum density of the paper. Where do we get a true black? Once we know that, we're going to be printing a step curve or a step test, which will give us all sorts of different values that the printer is able to produce. Once we've exposed that, taken it through the developing process and dried it, we'll then look and see, once it's been scanned, what the values actually came out at. Then from there, we'll be able to determine the difference by creating a curve. And that adjustment curve will then help the images that we create fit or match the ability of the albumin to deliver the image. So once we've done that, we can make whatever adjustments in Photoshop, make the image look however we want, and we can expect that the values that we see on the screen of the computer are then going to come out in the same way in the albumin print. So the first thing we need to do is start making the, the maximum density test, and so we'll go over how to do that in this next part. So in order to create our maximum density test, what we're going to be doing is simply taking an unexposed piece of albumin paper that I had some scrap and cutting it into a small piece. The other thing that we need is a small piece of the material that we're going to be using to do our digital negatives. It does block some of the light, so it's important that we use this as well. What I'm going to be doing is kind of putting it half and half over the paper and then putting it inside of our exposure box and securing. Then, since we're going to be doing a step test, what I'm going to do is take a piece of cardboard that will block all the light, and I have some tape on here that will hold it in place. And I'm simply going to be covering a section of it and only exposing it, just like you'd do in the enlarger for a black and white print. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that in and do my first exposure for one minute. Okay, our first minute is up, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off open up our tray, and then just simply move this back a small amount. Hit start, and reset the timer for one minute. And so I'm just going to do that several times until I get you know, maybe eight to ten minutes worth of exposure on our test strip. Now that our exposure time is done, I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the light box. I've already taken out our blackboard, remove both the negative sheet and our piece of albumin. I'm going to go ahead and process this, uh, this sheet just the way that we've done all of our other ones. And the one thing that I'm not going to do is wait for it to dry. I'm going to use the hair dryer to completely dry it quickly so that we can start to determine the exposure. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. 